Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. Our main, your host, Chad, if you're E333, and we remain in the Ring City. The lower section of the Ring City, right next to the Dragon Slayer Armor. Which is actually pretty much the same thing as the other Dragon Slayer Armor. I thought it was more of an Ornstein styled one, but then I realized fighting the other Dragon Slayer Armor that it actually isn't. Also, I'm having a very difficult time. Ow. Probably should have invested more in a lightning defense. I spent some time adjusting my armor before. It did not adjust for lightning defense. Also, I didn't know what the aggro range of this thing was. Slight error on my part, but... Eh, it can work that. Wow, this has got to have exact same health as the original boss. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Hang on. Backing off. And they're not being too progressive either, so that works too. Aha! You missed! Uh, you did miss because I made you miss, but... I dodged, I should say. That's the word. That's what, that's the word for making somebody miss by your own skill. And timing. By staying out of the way of the attack they're trying to use... Ah, I say that and I dodge in the, right, in the wrong direction. Gotta remember, you gotta dodge into the attacks in Dark Souls, which... Actually has been pointed out in some of my comments that it doesn't make sense that that's the case, but... Yep, that's how you do it. You dodge into the attack. Or I guess over the attack, but with the quick step iframes, it's into the attack. Now let's try this again. This time with magical weapons. Maybe that'll help. I don't know! Ah! Into the attack! I did it that time! I should be proud of myself. Ow. Ow. Aha, you missed! I didn't realize you weren't going to miss that last one, but you missed the first two, that's what counts. And you missed that attack, too, which I saw coming, and you just fired that over my head. That one, too. Both of which I was aware was going to happen. I mean, I think with terrain differences, this boss, and it was the thing during the actual boss fight as well, because the arena was set up in such a way that they became relevant. Damn it! Must you interrupt my commentary? Uh, hang on, I need to get my souls. Don't be a jerk. Okay, now we can fight. Oh, there's only 2,000 of them. Never mind. Uh, and as I was saying... The original arena had some major height. Damn it! That stupid timing. Is that even the same timing every time? <sighs> anyway, the arena in the original fight had height differences as well, which meant that was actually quite relevant. So you could dodge the attacks by simply being positioned properly relative to the armor. And relative to the ground as well. Or just, you know, you end up falling to the left, and then they end... Ow. That was a calculated risk. And it paid off. What do you have for me, anyway? Hey, it's the Dragon Slayer stuff. I think that's probably too heavy for me, but... Well, yes, it is. And it was worth checking. Actually, how heavy is it? It's about 5.3 compared to... 9.5! Yeah, that's way too heavy. Nice stuff, though. Not great for fire, but nice stuff. But, nah, too heavy. Neat, though. Anyway, so that with that taken care of, it's pretty much just a matter of running around to the left side. There's a couple other areas I need to take care of as well, but there's a shortcut I'd like to open up first. Once that's done, I'll feel more comfortable cracking some of the other areas that are further up. The ladder I was talking about before with the turtle monks protecting it, that leads to a couple more areas, and we get to see more of Lap. Well... I mean, we also get to see them stop being lap, but that'll come later. For now, though, Tide Knight Chunk and Ring at Oh, yeah, Ring and Knights. Gotta be careful here. There's Ring and Knights and. Okay, this thing. Shoot. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't have my... my ring of the evil eye on at all, do I? 
What the ring I have for... What was it? Pontus Red Eye? Yeah, I should probably double check my rings. Ah! Well, first I kill you. Or you fall over the edge. Which would be strange for a thing with wings, but... I don't... Oh, and you don't. Anyway, yeah, hidden body. That was, that's why the ring I was using was used. And... There we go, left eye. Now we can fight some of these things. Oops. Fight you. Your spear. What? Oh, darn it, this thing I don't like about parrying. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm close or not. What matters is... You know what? Maybe not. Maybe we don't fight. Maybe we just run around them. And grab the stuff. Because... Screw it. I can't fight two at once. That's not how I do. Not how this build does. That's not how this character really does. That's not how I personally really do. And... Oh, hey. It's a dragon. Also dragon. But mostly this crap. Of me desperately trying not to die and failing and not even getting the shortcut I wanted. Yeah, anyway, as for my previous commentary regarding parrying, what I dislike is that if the attack doesn't or wouldn't hit you, you can't parry it. Even if the parrying dagger or shield or whatever makes contact with the attack, it doesn't count unless the attack would have hit you. Which means that attacks that miss don't get parried, which really messes with me. Like, I figure I did the thing to parry the attack at the right timing. Why can't you just have it be parried when the parry animation should hit? Whatever. Anyway, that's the shortcut. And show your humanity. Oh, they actually put in the, put in the hint you need. <coughs> yeah, I actually went here because... I'm trying to remember why I went here first. I do need to go up there pretty soon. But the first thing I need to do is go around here. Use, of course, Hidden Body and Spook to get through the priests, because that's what you need to do, since they won't... I don't want to try to kill them and killing them. While I can do it, we have discovered, it is possible. It's a pain in the butt. I'd rather not do it. So instead, sneak by them. Because this character is a sneak. They sneak. Well, good enough. Targeting didn't happen. I think maybe they go off of high sight or sound more than sight. I never really thought of that, but yeah, considering that they didn't go after me, even though I became visible very soon after I started coming in there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well, they're gone. Now what I care about is that guy. And their friend. Cause these bastards always come in pairs. Oops. That's what I want. What I want is that. And then what I want is that. Ah. There we go. That's what I really wanted. Of course, your friend's now here, so I'm screwed. I have no way of dealing with this stuff. I'm not supposed to deal with this with anyone. Like, how any build is supposed to deal with this much aggression coming at you from both these enemies. Like, I really have no idea. Like, I can't parry both of them, because that's not how parry works. And they fight hyper-aggressively, and they can't be out-poised. So, like, what do I do? Especially when opportunities for parry would come up, except they can't because... Ah. Ugh. Must you exist? I hate these enemies! Fine, forget it! I'm not fighting them then! Right. We're bypassing these guys. Ow, I said I'm bypassing you! I declared it, it will there be, therefore be done. Do not get in my way. The reason for this... Oh, wait, where's Lap? Oh, darn it, I think I missed a step. Unless Lap's down here. I don't think so, though. I thought Lap was up here. Oh, great. Alright, well, I guess I gotta take a bit of an edit just to figure out what the heck's going on, because Lap should be there, but they're not there. I find that thoroughly confusing. Wait, what's... Uh, it's only here. Oh! Right, I remember the shortcut. I avoided the shortcut earlier. 
Yeah, ha. Okay, well, at least I get the Titanite Lizard. After all that, I at least get a Titanite Lizard. So, at this point, I don't know what to do. Oh, look at you. You found the treasure. Dashing. Just dashing. You'll make good use of it, I'm sure. Now, this is a little toast from me to you. Oh, Not nice. much to speak of, but uh, bottoms up to the greatest warrior there is. This really is a drag heap at the yeah, world's yeah. end. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the ringed city rests below it all. Oh, well, fancy meeting you here. A true blessing that we should seek the same place and find ourselves standing here together. I've got the last of my brew. Let's have our own little toast with it. You get a lot of zebra. To my search and to your duty and to the joy that lies before us. Oh. All right then. Bottoms up. <laughs> now, once I find who I want and what, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, don't hold it against me. <laughs> you were. I only think I will. <laughs> now. See, I'm not sure if I actually want to finish this part of the quest, but I kind of want to just finish whatever quest I start at this point. <clears throat> now they should show up where I expect them to be. All right. Awesome. Hey, Lap. Oh, and here we are again. How goes things? I'm rather running in circles, I'm afraid. I can't find the purging monument. And I've searched high and low. What if it was never here in the first place? It is. Oh, bloody hell. What do I know? Sorry. Seeing you all, just forget it all. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> just... <laughs> well, at any rate, since I don't want you to go hollow, at least... Even if it's not really in my best interest to do this. I'll help. But, yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna suck for me. Wait, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yes, I am! That was a bad move. There are safer ways to return to a bonfire. And now... I mean, I'm not using a white, white tree branch, but I am gonna use something still. Oh, I need to... I'm not sure if I have to kill this enemy first. But I'd rather not find out the hard way, so... Yeah! Yeah! And... Dead! Okay. So the trick with this whole puzzle is that you chameleon... You... Okay. You chameleon, you become a humanity. And the humanity sprite is what they mean by they say, show your humanity. I mean, it's a bit weird, but basically, the idea, if you're coming through the first time round, is that you get some white tree branches throughout this area. They give you chameleon for free. And if you just use them and go, oh, hey, it's a thing I got. I'm just going to use it because you're 100 hours in the game. And I guess by that point, you've gotten in the habit of using items. I, I don't know. But anyway, should you have that habit, you'll use it and you'll be in the swamp and you might get the humanity sprite. And you might remember, oh, yeah, that's the humanity sprite from Dark Souls 1 from the Autorius of the Abyss DLC. Or just generally how it looks. And you might decide this is how you're supposed to show your humanity. And then that happens. But yeah, that's a really, really complicated puzzle. I gotta be honest, the first time through with Blind Run, I I had to look that one up. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't I don't think I made it meant I don't know if I mentioned it then, but yeah. That's the only puzzle I didn't get on my own. I had no idea what you were supposed to do there. But at any rate, like I said, I'm pretty sure if you use the white tree branch and just use the items, then you'd be fine. I just didn't. So this section here, two more ring knights and another judicator. A lot of running around because, frankly, I just can't be bothered. Because that's not the key point. Actually, can I just... Are there items to pick up here? No, there aren't. I don't think the Judicator is much of a threat, so... Yeah. Except that thing. Eh. Drop. Over. Is there anything to pick up? Yes, there is. Okay. Yeah. Ow. Get down there. And then die. Wait, you're not dead? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Point is, over here. 
Over here is the perching monument. And the adjudicator is making my life miserable trying to get to it, but it's it's there. It exists. I don't care if all these projections of Silver Knight Lido are going to say otherwise. This is the purging monument. I'm not sinned, really. I've got like two NPCs. Completely unprovoked. I th thought that was sin, but I guess not. Okay. Also invaded someone. Well, invaded by way of covenant, but you know, invasions are invasions, I thought, but apparently no. Anyway, that is... That's the Purging Monument. So, at this point, now that we've discovered this, I can actually just drop down, because... Can I drop down? Can I drop down? I don't know if I can drop down. Oh yeah, I can drop down. Cool. I need to be careful, because I'm super close to death. But yeah, now I can talk to the lab immediately. Hey, Lap, found the Purging Monument. You just missed it. Ugh, you again. Is this thing going to stop ringing its bell? Yes, it's going to stop ringing its bell. What did I come here in time? Well... Stop it. I'm unbreakable. Yes, you are. Unbreakable. Are you certain of that? Yep. No. S sorry, I, I know you'd never lie to me. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'll speed right on over. It won't be long now before I know everything. Who I was. Yep. What I lived for. Yep. And what my name was. Yeah. And I'll have you to thank for it all. Sure. Ah, I swear that I am your friend. <laughs> no, you'd... No matter no. what might come out. No matter what I want. If you would do me the honor. I would love to, but to I know a you... true friend. Always. It won't be long now. <laughs> okay. Well, at any rate, you're not going hollow. I'm just going to take a shortcut by way of teleportation. Because that whole lead up to the shrine is a pain in the butt, and I don't see the point of fighting through it. There are better things to spend my time on. So yeah, now that I've gotten that, the swamp is essentially done with, so the next area is going up through here. Across this bridge. And... Dealing with one another ring knight, actually. Let's see, great magic weapon. Or crystal magic weapon, rather. And where's that ring and knight? They're right there, okay. Yeah! Ha! -ha! Immediate parry! <clears throat> Perfect! So at this point, it's just a matter of that, and then oh, I don't get a backstab. Never mind. I just cut you. Got enough stamina to cut you when you've been backstabbed. Yeah, below the bridge, and then it'll be on the bridge. And a shield I won't need. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what's there. Okay, I guess there was no point going down here. I'd like to get as many items as I can, but shields are not gonna do me much good. I keep forgetting shields are even part of this game. I seriously, actually forget that shields are part of the game. I've never used shields in any game since my very first run of the original, original Dark Souls. Is that going to hit me? Yes! Yes, it will! Ow! That is, however, why I had fire resistance. That and the Ring and Knights themselves. The Ring and Knights were kind of making that necessary. Oh, wait. I can survive being burned. Or, no, I can't. Well, I guess I can. Barely. Ow. Oh, hey. No, I'm not going to be burned. Thank you very much. All right, so what's in here again? I don't think this is where I want to go yet. Not bad, it provides me some things, but no, there's other areas I need to go to that are actually not in here. No, there's a bunch of these little side caves that help keep you alive, or you can just, you know, be on fire. That works too. Once you, if you have enough Estus that you can, it's just kind of painful because fire hurts. The fire is hot. Ow. Oh, wait, I hadn't healed up fully. Darn it. That was careless. Did I just dodge that? Yes, I did. I just iframed the fire. Maybe that's how you do it. Ah, uh, sort of. It helps. 
Oh, wait. I have even better iframes. If I did this right, at least. Or oh, I can just dodge into here. That works, too. I think if I go around the back and down here, I don't have to worry about the fire anymore. Nope, I don't. But yeah, that's Meteor. Flies around. Sets things on fire. Has a couple of roosts. Burns you. This is a boss fight later on. It's one of the... Probably the hardest boss fight in the game. No, never mind. No, Sister Freed is harder. Definitely one of the longest boss fights. I think it's say the longest boss fight. Beating Meteor takes five minutes. Like, maybe ten, actually. It, it's not easy. Anyway. Hey, it's Lap. Or Patches now. Oh, finally, you've come. Now I know exactly who I was. And for that, I have yeah, no thanks to be giving. There's treasure down there. Go this way and peep past the broken staircase. Some awfully yep. fine treasures just sitting there all alone. <laughs> It'll change your life. I've much to thank you for. So I'll say it again and go this way. Well, yeah, basically, the, people have complained, or at least I saw some comments in my earlier videos complaining about how you kind of have to fall for Patch's tricks in order to be able to progress. If you complete Lap's quest... Oh, wait, maybe you don't. Now that I think about it. But I say, if you complete Lap's quest, you actually kind of have to. And now I come to think of it, you do still kind of have to. Because there are bits that you can't get to if you don't go through that. I have to go through the bit that I just went through of, you know, fighting... Or not fighting, falling to the floor. Like, where that red... That... Well, okay, you can't see it now, but there was a red scarf that went down the side. And that... That is the path you need to take in order to be able to get all the way up here. Like, all the way past the part I just fell through. And that is, I think, the only time we actually have to fall for patches. Otherwise, you don't. But in this case, it's because yeah, I completed the quest. And that was one of those things where I was kind of punished for success. Ow. Is that supposed to be Egon? Yes, it is. Yeah. What the? Why don't I roll? Like, what the? Stop comboing me! Why must people combo me? Especially with heavy weapons. Like, I get okay, heavy weapons. Yeah, they're they're strong, sure, but uh, it's like combos on top of being strong. That's just. What am I supposed to do here? Ah! Backstab you! That's what I'm supposed to do. And yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ha. Huh. All right. Man, maybe. Kick. 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 How? How much freaking stamina do you have? All right. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, that's not fine. Now, okay. Now I think it's fine. Yes, now it's fine. Okay. Now I got it. And a blindfold mask. Which, I mean... What's that like? Oh, wait, that really kills my dark resistance. Yeah, that's kind of strictly worse than what I have. Eh, it also doesn't look very good. What is this? Oh, unknown origin. Oh, yeah, if I wanted to make a Firekeeper type build, I could use that, but meh. I'd rather not. The thing is, I'm going to need Dark Resistance to fight Meteor at one at some point. Like, really, really desperately need it. I'm not even trying enough HP as it is to survive with as much Dark Resistance as I can muster. If I don't perfectly dodge the, this big Dark Blast attack that it has. Anyway, see, this is kind of my point when it came to the staircase. Is that... Like, at this point... Wait, where's the staircase bit that I came to with Patches? Because Patches has a staircase bit that he was trying to get me down. Oh, yeah, right, because if I drop through the next section, then I end up getting back onto the staircase. That's how I get back onto the broken staircase. Right. So, yeah, that was my point earlier, is that the only way to... This is not a place where you can avoid Patches. 
which kind of sucks, but you can't. So, yeah. Unless you don't complete the quest. Which is actually kind of merciful because you don't fall into the pit as a whole, you just fall down a level. Every age, it seems, is tainted by the greed of men. Rubbish to one such as I, devoid of all worldly wants. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Patches. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way we are. I'll stick you in my prayers. A fine dark soul to you. Jerk. Well, I knew that was going to happen anyway. I was already prepared for it. But yeah, you have to drop down there in order to be able to drop down here in order to be able to get to the bits that actually matter. Which involve a staircase that lets you go all the way up to the very, very, very top, but yeah, you have to go to the very, very bottom first. Which kind of sucks. But at least we did it. I mean, okay, I guess it shouldn't be something I'm especially proud of as an accomplishment. Like, I was kicked down a pit! Hooray! Oh, it's another one of these. Hang on, where is it? I've got this great weapon... Yeah! And then I think this is a Dark Souls 1 style. Ow! Wow, it didn't start with the eat attempt. There's the eat attempt. Aha! There's two major problems if it tries to eat me, and if it tries to spin kick me. And it didn't succeed in doing either. Hey! Ring of the Evil Life plus three! I, oh, wait, I don't use that one anymore. Right. Right. I mean, I'm actually kind of debating what I want to do with this, because considering what I'm up against next, I eh, might as well use this, just for the next little while. There's a lot of skeletons. They're kind of hard to critical, but they're fairly easy to just kill. And then have dead. But, oh. Oh, it's batch of stuff. Eh, I'll pick that up later. Because I want to get to the bit up ahead, because there's a cool bit up ahead with this bonfire. And then also a meteor, but mostly a bonfire. Yeah, I can't remember if the Ring of the Evil Eye plus 3 would have enough healing for it to be worth it. Because, I mean, compared to Steel Protection, I don't know if I can really justify anything. Granted, now that I have a bit more weight capacity thanks to Havel's plus 3, the Steel Protection might not be always necessary. Mind you, it's never unwelcome. So, I guess there's not really much reason not to use it. Anyway, we are at the top, and apart from the one bit of Patch's stuff, I don't even think I, can, I don't think I can even get there. Actually, now that I think about it, but yeah, apart from Patch's stuff, I'm pretty much here. Hooray! All right. Well, given that, I'm curious if I can get down there. Like, can I go down and actually grab that stuff? Yes, I can. I definitely can. Yeah, because I go up here, and then that gets me to... Oh, you're... That's you, and then you'll just die... Well, actually, it's not bad. It's not great, but, you know, a large enough group, that's actually... That's a good amount of healing. Okay, so Ring of the Evil Eye plus three could be useful. Not sure if that and Ultra's Ruby together, but definitely on its own. Could be useful. Laps, bits, and... Oh, Champion's Bones. That I forgot I had. Huh. Oh! Oh! Interesting! So you don't actually have to fight the, ch the Grave Tender Great Wolf. Or the Champion's Grave Tender, whatever it is, in order to get the Undead Match. I didn't realize that. The first time I played through this, I went to the Ashes of Arandel DLC first, which is... Well, that's how it progresses. But now that I got that, that's actually kind of a neat little change of pace. I'm not likely to do much of it, though. But hey! That's good to know. All right, so the last thing here is Meteor. It's Meteor. I'm not sure I need Dark as well. I mean, I'm not going to get much out of that, so I don't want to really discount it, but hmm. No, I'll need Dark for the actual boss fight, but I think for this little mini thing, I don't need Dark. 
I do need whatever else I can get my hands on, though. Because <clears throat> basically, Meteor will come down here and start breathing fire and doing other dragon-y things. But, you know, as long as I maintain a safe position, then I should be fine. Right, he does it further along so I can do things like smack his hand for a little while. And dealing some damage, and then he pops and fires fire right in front of him, which is annoying. I assume it's male. I'm actually not sure. And that happens, and then I can start smacking into the other. Ow. Okay. Fall back! I fall back! Uh, it's a good thing I invested as much as I did in HP. Ow. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. We still deal with this stuff. Basically, I knock it enough, and it should start getting aggressive a bit. But if I knock it enough, it'll fall off completely. And that's why I kept... Ow! That's why I kept the healing for damage because I thought, you know what? I might just hit it enough times that I could heal up and I'll have to use more Estus. And I was right. I was exactly right. I could avoid using Estus when I didn't want to. Oh yeah, that that move. I can't remember if that's considered a dark attack or not. I just know that I want to avoid it if I can. And otherwise... Okay. How much damage do I need to deal with this thing before it falls over? Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ow. Okay. That's fine. Just bait into shooting fire forward. Perfect. Because usually it does that twice if it does it at all. Perfect. There we go. More on the hand. Aha! Oh, I see. Yeah. I need to get the head. One more on the head. Yes! There we go. Okay. Meteor falls. That's not the boss fight with Meteor. Of course, that's the... That's like the first bit just fighting him on the side, just preps the boss fight. Once you do that, then the boss fight's available, but the boss fight will be next episode, as this is basically where I'm going to call it, or just about here, a little, little up the road. But yeah, next episode is going to be a boss rush, because that's pretty much what's left. It is a trio of boss fights. Yeah, I guess I could deal with this thing, too. We all know how much I enjoy these guys. Especially when they do their buzzsaw. Which actually they haven't done much of. But hey, ooh, my level up has actually paid off. I got enough dexterity to be able to do that in three. Awesome. But yeah, the next episode will be basically a boss rush because that's about all that's left with the Ring City is the three bosses, Meteor and the other two, which I don't really want to spoil quite yet, but we'll get to. But yeah, once that happens, that'll be it. And actually, that also means I need to talk to that woman I was talking about earlier. Because there was a woman I was talking about who had some stuff that they would help give me. Wait, where am I now? Oh, hey, it's the shortcut. Shortcut back to this bonfire. Right. Anyway, yeah, so there was a woman that I wanted to see that I needed to kill the Herald Knights in order to get to without being under attack. Once I do that, then... Well, that's more near the end. I'll, I'll do that next episode at some point. But, like I said, next episode will be the boss rush. Because up here, you got stuff. Got embers. And over here, there's that bit that I saw that you could fall down into. Pick up another item, which I can't remember what it is. Some ring or another, I think. Chloranthi ring! Oh, yeah. That ring. I haven't used that in a while. But anyway, 
Until then, that is going to be it. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, enjoy stuff.